What's happening, YouTube? Is that Six Monkey? Yes, he is back! Ye fucking ha! Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been on this baby. Uh, it's been... Oh, it's been over a month anyway. Uh, I had a few problems with the bike. Uh, charging issues. You'll notice I've now got a wee voltmeter sitting there just keeping an eye on things. Uh, I've changed the uh, stator, I've changed the rectifier once again, I've changed, I've rewired a whole new plug for the rectifier because it was a wee bit burnt in places. Got that all covered with dielectric grease. And we seem to be jamming. All seems to be good in the hood. The plan is get out and just enjoy it. Now the weather's not as good as it's been over the last, you know, during the summer holidays, during June and July. Come August, they just sort of had a bit of a dip. But you know what? Fuck it, it's dry. The roads are dry. Just get out there. So I'm on my way to meet a good friend who who I haven't actually seen since the day the bike packed in. Yeah, sure you guessed that I'm going to meet Grems. And we'll go out a wee run. So, just while we're out and about and on the way there, a wee thing I wanted to talk to you about. And it involves motorists and dash cams. Now, you know fine well, dash cams are everywhere now. Seems to be the norm now for folk to have dash cams on their motors. But what I've read up on is that one of the major dash cam manufacturers, being a next base, has now provided an online link. For the customers, for the users, to submit footage direct to the police. Now, it's apparently all official, you know, they need to fill in a statement and sign it, claiming that they're making an official complaint. Now, you know fine well that this is going to be aimed towards bikers. You know, because they get severely fucking butthurt if you overtake them because they're sitting under the speed limit. So, they're then going to submit footage saying this biker overtook me going faster than the speed limit to get by me. But what they don't realise is that if they're sitting at, say for example, it's only five mile an hour under the speed limit. For us to sit behind them, that puts us as bikers in a dangerous position. If we are constantly sitting behind them because you're then going to get another car driver. Who doesn't want to sit at 5 mile an hour under the speed limit? So he's then going to sit and ride our back wheel to the point where he sees an opportunity to overtake. So the safest option for us is to look at a safe opportunity 
accelerate by said vehicle and pull back in with a bit of clear road ahead is knowing that the car behind us isn't pushing along any so that is in that safe position for us to be sitting in but then it's just to be oh I was you know what I didn't see him coming and he just went by me with his big loud exhaust and scared the bejesus out of me well do you know what pay more attention to what's going on around the bike use your fucking pedals So aye, so that's obviously what's happening with the uh, That's the route the next base are going down I don't know if any other ones are following suit But you know what guys, give me your opinions on this Am I just, you know, is this going to be, well If you're keeping within the law, you shouldn't need to worry about that So aye, drop me your opinion, drop me a wee comment If you like this, hit the like button if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Most importantly, ride safe, keep pushing it side up. Till next time, bye.